And developing right now, investigators trying to find out whoever left this car with all that writing all over it at the FBI building on the south side. Channel 11 News reporter Renee Wallace joins us live. And Renee, you talked to the people who called in this strange car. Dave, I did. First, let me set the stage. What a tense situation it was out here this morning. This entire area in front of the FBI building shut down to foot in car traffic. You did not see these cars using this FBI road as a shortcut to get over there to East Carson. So today, we spent today digging in to this story for new information about the driver and what that cryptic message may have meant. Channel 11 was on East Carson Street when the Allegheny County Bomb Squad surrounded this suspicious looking SUV parked at the FBI's back gate. Its driver nowhere in sight. Bomb techs as they meticulously searched the SUV inside and out to determine if it was booby trapped. It was not. After digging into this story, Channel 11 found out an early morning staffer at the Center for Victims actually saw the strange looking orange SUV first and alerted the FBI. We have a staff member who gets here incredibly early and got here before the FBI. And so she was really the first one to see the car parked there. The Center for Victims shares a back lot with the FBI building, so they were more than a little concerned. The CEO told Channel 11 they deal with sometimes very volatile situations. When you do this work, your antenna is up for things that are not quite, don't seem quite right. The FBI has identified the registered owner of the SUV, but no charges have been brought. Channel 11 confirmed the driver was seen on surveillance parking the brightly colored SUV, then walking away to towards East Carson. The cryptic message spray painted on the side and hood spoke of Russia, micro radio devices and subliminal hypnosis. We asked the CEO of the Center for Victims who is trained to recognize trouble what she thought the message meant. We see it fairly often, but it tells you a little bit about where that person is mentally at they that time. They might need help? Absolutely they need help, sure. And the FBI says its security guards also noticed that car parked out back and sent its security protocol in motion. Uh, the Propel School building and the Center for Victims, they were in lockdown for a few hours, per, but were back up and running by 9.30 a.m. Reporting live on the South Side, I'm Renee Wallace, Channel 11 News.